How's it going everybody? So I made a huge mistake. This is part two of the Google ads remarketing, everything that you need to know. If you are coming from part one, you know what the mistake is. Uh, basically the video cut off right before we got here to step three and I realized it much too late. So anybody who's in that situation, I apologize, that is on me. Um, hopefully this video tutorial will answer all those questions. If you're here for the first time, uh, if you are just here to build a Google ads campaign, a remarketing campaign, and you already have your tags installed and your audience is built, then you're in the right place. But if you don't have either of those things done, I encourage you to check out part one. It'll be linked down below in the description. Um, but without further ado, I'm gonna jump into this part three and apologize once again to any of the people, the loyal people who watched the videos and supported that uh, got left hanging without having uh, part three all done. We went through part one, part two, but not part three. So this is the second video to complete the tutorial and hopefully this uh, redeems me uh, just a little bit. So now that we have our remarketing list all set up that we're ready to use, now these ones are still populating so they're a little bit small. So I'm actually just gonna use this all users of Corbin DIY for the example for the next part, which is right here to actually go through and build your ads inside of Google, um, build your campaigns inside of Google ads. So we've completed step number one, step number two, and it's now time to move on to the third step. And we're actually gonna go through and create a campaign here. We're gonna start off with how to build a display remarketing campaign, and then I'll show you briefly the YouTube steps and the search remarketing as well. So we're gonna come over here, we're going to click on the create button in this top left-hand corner, and we're going to create a new campaign. And from here, you can go through and select whatever objective you would like, either sales or leads is probably what I recommend, or you can even click right here, create without goal guidance. For me, I'm going to create this with goal, without goal guidance um, for the sake of this tutorial. And then here is where we want to select display. This is if we are wanting to show on these banner ads that you see uh, following people around inside of Google. So if we wanted to do display right here, we can click that. And it's going to ask for our conversion action. If you have one, you can have that there, or you can just hit continue. And then it will ask for the business website. You can go through and put that in there. And then you can give this a name. I generally like to call this display. I generally like to name this the, the, the display remarketing and then the area that I am targeting, but you can name this campaign whatever you would like. Then we're gonna go through and hit continue here. And we're just gonna go through and exit out of this. We're going to leave this guided here. We want to target the, uh, the United States. You can go through and have your location option. We want to, this to be present people in our target location. We're gonna be targeting English here. There are more settings. So uh, this you can go through and set the, the ad schedule. If you only wanted to remarket to people during a certain time of day, you could go through and set that there. Um, we're going to leave it blank though in this, uh, this, uh, this tutorial and just remarket to people basically uh, any time of day. Now, when it comes to remarketing and display campaigns specifically, it is important to click on these more settings right here and the campaign and the content exclusion options right here. I clicked it and it moved up there. It kind of threw me off. You can see the content exclusions. This allows you to go through and exclude your content from showing on any of these different topics. So sensitive topics, I would generally recommend most brands go through and just opt out of these four or these five right here um, because you don't want your content being associated with these kind of things, unless your brand does. Like there are, there are use cases where it may be the case, but I generally recommend opting out of those for most brands. Then we go through and hit next here. Now you can go through and set your daily budget. For us, we're just gonna set this really small at $5 a day. Now with remarketing, you can generally get away with a pretty cheap cost inside of here. You can either optimize towards conversions, conversion values, or viewable impressions. We're going to opt optimize towards conversions here. But if you don't have a conversion set up in your account, or if you launched this a campaign and you notice that your audience just isn't getting spend, you can go through down here and select a bidding strategy directly. And I would recommend coming over and doing a manual CPC bidding strategy uh, to get your ad in front of people. So if you launch this and within you know a week, you see that you aren't getting any views or any clicks, impressions on your ad, I would recommend coming and changing to a manual CPC bidding strategy. Um, but we're gonna go back to the previous. We're gonna do a conversion right here. We're gonna hit next. And then right here, Google is try gonna try and get you to opt in through these optimized targetings is set up for you. We do not want to do that. This is not, this is gonna make it so that Google is going to show our placements. We want to define the audience and actually say that we want to remarket to specific people. So we're gonna click on ad targeting here. And then we are going to click on uh, audience segments. And then right here, this is where you can go through and find the audiences that you have created. So if we come over here to browse and then we go over to this one right here, your how they've interacted with your business, you can click on here and then go to website visitors. And this is where you're going to see all of the audiences that you just created. So whether you created the audience from the Google ads tag or the Google analytics tag, you'll notice that these are the ones that we created inside of the account. So you can go through and select any one of those. For us, we're going to do uh, this one right here because it was the audience that was already populated inside of the account. 
um, and already have data running to it. And then, but go through and select whatever one you are wanting to remarket to. And this next setting right here is important to note. This is the optimized targeting. If you click right here, you'll notice that this will optimize targeting helps to get more conversions within your budget. Google may find people beyond your target signals. If you are running a remarketing campaign and this budget is specifically allocated to hitting people who have already seen your brand, then I would recommend unchecking this because if you leave that check, chances are Google could show your ad to people that aren't actually in this audience that you just went through and created. And then you can go through and add additional targeting here. But once again, I would not recommend that because this is a remarketing campaign. We want it to be uh, the, the, the audience that we've defined here. So then we're going to hit next. Okay. And this is where we can actually go through and build our ad. I'm going to move myself out of the way here to make sure that I don't uh, get in the way of anything. You do want to make sure that this is going to an HTTPS. That's why it's giving me this error here. So we're going to go through and add that there. That'll get rid of that. We want to give the name here. So we're going to call this house to home. DIY. I'm going to put spaces in there. And then now we can go through and add up to 15 images. So this is what's called a responsive display ad. So you can come over here and hit add new images. And then this is just some free stock images that can go through and pull other tools to go through and create responsive, uh, to create banner ads. If you'd like Fiverr is a good resource. I'll leave a link down to Fiverr down below. Uh, Canva is really good for creating ads as well. And then also you can go through and use something called adcreative.ai. Uh, this is something that I've used a lot for generating banner ads and just ads in general. Um, so that's another tool that you can use to generate more display ads if you wanted to go that route. Like I said, I'll leave links to all of those down below, but we're just going to keep this simple uh, for the sake of the tutorial. Grab this. It will go through and select different ratios. So you want to click on this and make sure that these ratios align um, with the image that you're wanting to show. So you can see right here, it's not really showing anything inside of this. Uh, this one doesn't look good. So I'm actually going to exit out of that and then select those two ratios. It is best practice to have up to 15 images inside of here. So be sure to go through and add uh, mix and match as many as you would like. Of course, whatever is applicable to your business. If you wanted to upload your own images, you can come over here to um, upload and then upload them from your computer right there. But we're just going to save this so you can get an idea of what this looks like now. You will want to go through and add your logo as well here. Uh, this isn't the right logo, but for the sake of this, we're going to uh, add that in there. And you can see with those images, Google is going to start generating some responsive display ads for us that honestly look pretty good based on like the limited information that we just gave it. You can scroll through these and see what they look like and what the, what your customers are going to see, or your, the people who hit your website are going to see as they come through. You can see there is the option to go through and add videos here. If you do add videos, they will show up in different placements. This isn't exactly showing up on YouTube. I'll show you how to set up a YouTube one, uh, here in just a minute. Um, and then you can go through and add your headlines into, uh, this and, and chances are you're going to want to do some sort of sale or something to get people back to the website, give them a reason to come back to your website. You can go through and give the descriptions here. And then after that is done, you can go through and hit next and publish that ad. And you can see this is what the ad will end up looking like. So we're going to go through and just simply give this a uh, quick save. So you can see what this looks like. Once it's all done, we're going to hit next here. And you're going to want to look over all this and make sure it looks okay here on this ad group. I actually go through and usually rename this to, um, the audience name that I'm targeting. So this is hit fireplace page, uh, even though we use the other audience, but just for this example, and then we're going to hit publish this campaign and we're going to give it a second here. And you can see this is going to show here uh, that it is currently under review. Now, if you wanted to check out the, the campaign and make sure that everything was looking okay, you can come over here to the campaigns, click on campaign right here. And then you'll see here is our display remarketing campaign. If you wanted to go through and pause that, you can click it right there and it will pause that campaign. If you ever wanted to see the audiences that are inside of this campaign, you can come over here to audiences and keywords, click right here, click inside of audiences. And then you can confirm that, you know, the audience that we are targeting is currently getting looked at. So you can see if you click on this show more table, you can see here is the audience, the all users Corbin DIY that we created. And then it'll show you the conversions, clicks, impressions for that specific audience. So that is how you would go through and create a display remarketing campaign. I do want to quickly show you how to go through and create a YouTube remarketing campaign. And if you wanted to utilize these audiences in your search campaigns as well. So the process is pretty much the exact same. You just come over here to create audience campaign right here. And then from this point, what you're going to do is go over to, uh, you can either do sales leads or create without guidance. And then right here, this is instead of cl clicking on display, you're going to want to click under here under video. And then that's going to take you to the YouTube ad creation setup where you can go through and uh, actually set up that entire thing. I'm not going to go through the entire YouTube uh, ad setup process. I have a full video on how to do that right here. If you wanted to learn more about the settings inside of YouTube, um, from this point though, you can go through and click on one of these and we're going to click on continue here. 
And as I mentioned, I'm just gonna breeze through these because I have a full tutorial on YouTube that you can check out uh, down below in the description. But right here is where you are going to find your audience segment so that you can go add any audience. And just as we did with the display campaign, you're gonna to wanna to come here to your data segments, website visitors, and then this is where you can go through and add that audience. Then you can scroll down here and then you can select the YouTube video that you want to remarket to people. So I'm gonna go through and exit out of that now and then show you how to utilize this for search as well. So the final audience that we have here is remarketing for search list. And in order to do that, we can scroll over here. And what you're gonna do is you're going to find a, a, a Google ads campaign, a search campaign that is already built. So you can see I have this US electric fireplace campaign. I'm gonna click inside of here. This is a search campaign. And then I'm going to come over here to uh, audiences. And then we're gonna go back over to the audiences at this point. And then you can come over here and then show table. And from here, what you can do is you can edit these audiences. So you can see I have a couple of different audiences inside of here and I can go through and edit these audiences into this campaign. And then what you wanna do is if you want to target this audience specifically, you could, uh, you could do the target, but I recommend doing observation. And what this is gonna do is it's just going to start collecting data on these people to see how they're performing. So same thing, come over here to browse and then we go in, in, uh, in segment, what is it? Uh, your data segments right here and then use the all Corbin's, all users of Corbin DIY right here and then go back to this point and then save that under observation. And once we save that, you'll see that it's going to start giving us data on how, how much we're spending on that specific lead. You can see here's an example of what this looked like, the clicks, the impressions, the click through rate, and then the conversions. And you, what you could do after a while, after collecting data is you could come back over to this audience and do it um, so that you're only targeting those users. Um, but generally I recommend just doing it as an observation. Now I know we just covered a ton, but hopefully you found this video tutorial helpful. If you did, please do me a favor and like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And of course, if you have any questions about this process, I know it can be a little crazy, leave any comments down below and I'll try to go through and answer as many as I can and we'll see you in the next video.